Right, well, let's see what the 23rd of May 1943 brings us. Do his carriers come out? He's He's got to send them out because he's losing now. So... I do expect to see them. Okay. Oh, good. The APD managed to do some damage to the uh, submarine. Wow, it's doing a lot of damage to the submarine. Taking on water. That sub is going to have to go back to port. And this scenario doesn't have enough time for it to be fully really repaired. So that's it out of, uh, out of action for this scenario at least. Japanese float plane. Well, that's going to be from a Glen from one of their subs. Two Japanese ships, speed 25, moving east. Well, that's something. That's definitely something. I am going to uh, suspect that that is, uh, that is the carrier group, or at least uh, a bombardment or heavy uh, surface combat task force. So the question is, how will I respond to that? Do I let them bombard? Or do I try and do something about it? You know, do I waste resources resisting or do I believe that I'll lose less by just letting them do whatever they want and therefore that's the better option 95 to 1 oh wow 40 destroyed squads 24 destroyed non-combat and one unit destroyed so another day should 301st independent infantry battalion wiped out so Another day should see the naval guards wiped out. And then everything in Atu will be destroyed. <laughs> okay. Well, that's those are definitely his carriers. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It doesn't quite add up to one day's travel. Maybe they left halfway through the day or something. Okay. So let's assume <coughs> that they do four hexes uh, a phase. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So they're going to hold everything short of Adak in danger. So. Yeah, he kind of showed up exactly where I expected. I think a better play would have been taking the very long route here coming up behind Dutch Harbour and then just pushing this way to to basically drive me into port or out to sea and just destroy things as he drove westwards back towards Paramushiro Jima but uh, he's coming in straight ahead so if that's what he wants to do that's fine by me okay rain so he'll actually have the strikes he needs to have oh the japanese forces are completely gone there okay now let's put you back in the hex he came from 
and Nautilus, you're going back for this, okay? And let's uh, let's extend you out just a little bit. So you're going here. Hmm. You're going to go here. And you are going to go here. So he he will have to cross the line of subs at some stage. Okay. Now, in terms of what's ported here, these AVD. Mm, how fast? Seven. Okay. Uh, support. Yeah, I know. Jesus, don't waste your up points, for God's sake. Ah, <clears throat> full speed, also disband for ADAC. And the routing will be direct and coastal. So let's see how that looks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. <coughs> okay, so by tomorrow daytime, they will be back in port here and disbanded. Okay. And we're still reducing the uh airfield and runway etc damage okay now these guys right i don't need to hold this so you are going to return to adak and you're going to do a full refuel when you're there and you guys are going to cancel the load supply and you're going to return to adak And you're going to auto disband. You are going to return to Adak. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just do let's just do full speed just to be on the safe side. And so now you will definitely fully disband in Adak. And you guys, okay, you finished unloading what you needed to unload. And you guys are now going to return to Adak. Full speed. No refueling. And auto disband. And you'll get there in plenty of time also. Okay. Now, I'm not particularly bothered about what you guys do to Kiska or Atu. So I am okay seeding those. And concentrating my forces at Adak where they will be able to properly uh, use mass to defend themselves. And let's pull you guys back also. Adak. Adak. And Adak. Okay, so we're leaving our troops to hold and we're pulling everything else basically back, including our shipping. <clears throat> now, this disband in port, yes. 
these guys are still unloading. Okay. These guys are unloading, but to be honest, they can just disband in the port. I can finish loading them later. Okay. So. I have battleships. I have these guys. And let's... Um, Where's the troops? Okay. And let's move the little local minesweeper in as um, some form of escort and then this is unloading okay that's good and in the port now we have quite a lot of stuff okay ae rainier let's load up those supplies and then everything else there is pretty good Three battleships and a whole load of destroyers. Let's put our last destroyer that we can add in. Let's put that on the line as well. And so we'll have a very strong heavy cruiser, light cruiser task force. And then a quite strong slow battleship task force with a lot of destroyers to be fair and let's get rid of the destroyer minesweeper and put that into port okay okay yeah that's a decent uh that's a decent force there okay now let's decide what we do here they're still loading supplies okay and they're going to do a full speed run. Okay, I'll have to be careful with those guys. Then this guy here should dock and load supplies. And then these guys here should continue loading supplies. And I'll depend on what he does. If he comes in very aggressively, they may have to scatter or something but otherwise i should be okay because if he if he just impales himself on the frontal units i should be okay i, I you know i just don't want to take the risk with these uh these guys So I can't really run them back, but let's run them to here and let's set the routing as safest, lowest. Okay, so these guys will do two and then three, two and three. Yeah, okay, it's about as good as it's gonna get. And then these guys can do a full speed run. Yeah. Into Adak. Well, actually, if I do it this way, these guys can do a full speed run. 
don't unload, don't refuel, and disband into ADAC tomorrow. Okay. And then the AD, no, I don't want to put it there. 17, five and four. We're gonna to have to make this a support transport. Transfer ship, yeah. Okay, but we'll go full speed and that'll give us uh, Set destination. Okay, that's better. Remain on station, do not refuel, auto disband. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That'll be first day and then second day. Yeah. I mean, he'll find them if he really, really wants to find them, but other than that, I think they're reasonably safe. Right, and now for this force here. Right, let's do this by... Uh, by unit. Now, do I really want them to do naval attack? I think I don't. Okay, so the F4s are at 16,000. Then the Kitty Hawks will be at 10,000. Okay. Okay. P40s, 21,000. Fair enough. And then the P-38s will be my anti-sweepers. <clears throat> and that's the cap. Now, if he comes into range, um, I'll have a lot of planes that are able to go after him. Out to a range of about five. So, set all B-24s to five. I'll be 25s to 5. All of these guys to 5. And all of these guys to 5. So the idea is if they go in, they'll go in with cap. Okay, and then the last thing is to thicken it up a little bit with float planes.
Five. Set all float planes on ships in this hex. That's good. And these guys will get the same treatment. 20 float planes. Naval attack. Search off. Set all float planes on ships in this hex. Okay. Great. Now. Let's look at the patrol planes. Oh, they can use torpedoes. I finally have enough supply for them to use torpedoes. Well, now, that is definitely something. And that is definitely worth pulling my other PBYs back for. If they all get to use torpedoes. Because torpedoes are about my only chance of actually harming uh, harming his heavier ships. Use torpedoes. Fifty percent search. And use torpedoes. Naval attack. Naval attack. Naval attack. Okay. This is going to be bloody. So, 484 versus 188. Um, okay. And so basically what I'm looking at here is I've gathered 307 planes together. Yeah, you know, that's probably enough to, to ward him off. And then this guy has to keep unloading because, yeah, he has a little bit of this unit left. And these guys are up to 36. And these guys are 261. And will they recover more? No, they've recovered what they're going to recover there. These guys will recover a bit more. Okay. And these guys have a bit more to go. Okay. And in terms of support, yeah, I have way more support than I need, so. Okay. Let's see what tomorrow brings, and I hope that you will join me for seeing what happens. Take care.